literally right now. Yo, when did this happen? Literally right now. <laughs> Rip! <laughs> Hello, C. Kander and Jer. How you guys doing tonight? Sorry about Hi, that last stream, everybody. Sorry about that. Hi, just me, the guy, favorite YouTuber and best friend. <laughs> Bribed the mod, he said. Dang, that, that'd be true. That'd be true. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight, though? Let me just get the last thing fixed real quickly. Bro, I got Chips Ahoy cookies. Look at that. Ooh, Chips Ahoy. But no milk. Because I didn't grab milk. Cursed, how you doing? Teeth. It's all good, Jer. Hope you're having a good day, homie. My last stream just pooped itself. Wait, hold up, Jer. Before you leave, before you leave, you have to answer the poll. Because I have to re-put the poll back up. Um, my FPS is still fucking tanking right now, Kevin. Oh, jeez, Rick. I can see that. Why are you pooping yourself, computer? Well, this isn't good. I didn't do this the other night. What the fuck? Maybe this is why you didn't do Masuda hunts. <laughs> Another hunt you weren't invited to. That's not my fault, Lua. That's not my fault. It's a year-round thing. See? Jer agrees with me. I think I fixed the issue with um Discord. Or with uh the thingy. Are you putting the blame on to me? Lua, you're not even home! <laughs> what do you mean? You can shiny hunt on Pokemon Go. <laughs> fucking fuck you. After saying that. <laughs> no, I'm getting frustrated at my stream labs. Whoa. I'm talking about in chat. And it was like, shut the F up, Lua. Jer's busy. And then he put the happy volcanic. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why is my stream dropping frames like this? This is ridiculous. Dude, this is actually bad. What the fuck? You're making me mad. Um, Jer and Lua. Before you guys do head out or whatever, my friend Alan hit me up before asking if I wanted to play Fortnite, but I had the stream to do. But he said later on if he's not busy, if you guys aren't busy as well, if you want, we can all play with him. Unless I'll just play with him. If my night, FPS but. keeps tanking, you might be able to just go. Because it's I don't know tanking why it's really hard. Now it's actually going off. Thank you, Jer, again for that. Appreciate you, homie. I like how Omar plugs to Kander first. <laughs> She's the one person who doesn't post content right now. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. We good now? We should, I think we're good now, yeah. I don't seem to be having any issues now. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, we're good now. My computer was just crap, and it's. A, I don't know why. That's the most aggravating feeling in the world, though. I want to go in. God. Excuse me, excuse me, Mister Just Me the Guy. 
Did you hear the news today? I think he's pretty shy, Kevin. He's not saying anything. Give him a second. He also said he has to go. Like 20 minutes ago, Kevin. And I kept him here for a poll. The news about... I can't even say what you want to keep it. Yeah. <laughs> you are an asshole. <laughs> yeah, R.I.P. to Queen. <laughs> Do you know the uh, way to the Queen, my brother? Poor woman, she ran out of, uh... She ran out of totems of, totems of undying. Dude, that's a fact. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Twitter memes, though, I couldn't, I couldn't keep a straight face. The Twitter memes me. were pretty good. I'll give you that. Eleven people Weird. voting in the poll. Fifty-five percent of you are saying yes. It's a, it's only a cold time drink. Nah, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. You can have hot cocoa any time of year. It don't. It's like hot coffee. You can have hot coffee any time of year. Get out of here with that. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. <laughs> Thing. I'm gonna grab a reboot card. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. You drink hot coffee year round? Dude, that's what I was saying! And I put hot cocoa hot in my coffee! See, Kevin Kevin thinks that's weird, making a mocha. Jared, is mochas weird? Hot cocoa and hot coffee are two different things. No, it's not, because you can mix them together and have a mocha. Well, that's mixing them together. It's still coffee. Eh? It doesn't count. Hot cocoa as itself is what we're talking about. If you specifically put is hot cocoa in coffee a year-round thing, then I'd be like, yeah, sure. But you said specifically hot cocoa. Oh, it's completely different, yeah, because it doesn't have coffee in it. But I still think hot cocoa is perfectly fine year-round. That's my that's my argument right there. It's perfectly fine year-round. Hot cocoa is a good thing. You're just a weirdo. Nah. 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 Y'all just lying. Your friend just got hot cocoa at breakfast like two days ago. Dude, exactly. There's nothing wrong with a cup of hot cocoa look in the burn alive i don't see a <laughs> single problem with that you guys be tripping that's, that's that is the argument right here folks is every single day that's my issue with it your yeah. answer to that is you do not care it tastes good i'll have it exactly well, mark that's just you nah fat recognize fat right there i can respect that <laughs> I can respect that. What's that song? How's that song go? What, you can't have shit in Detroit? No. Lou was talking about Christmas music that has hot cocoa in the lyrics. Because, you know, it's a winter thing. You can have a it's candy cane any day. But it's a winter thing. I don't think hot chocolate, though, is specifically a winter thing. Okay, but uh, when do you do you when do you normally see candy canes in store? Candy canes and hot chocolate are two different things. That's no, considered. Just, that's that what Lewis said. Ever and I said, okay. Then when when do you ever see candy canes in a store? But that's what Lewis said, not me. I read Lewis, bruh. Bruh! Oh. <laughs> it's a winter thing. Why can I buy it year round? See, now that's a valid point. I good. What What do you mean by I good? Thank you everyone for 8 likes. Much love to y'all. 14 of you guys voted in the poll. And the poll is saying 57% say yes. I almost dyslexic that. Good. <sighs> you know what that 57% is? Keep it up, guys. You can uh, have anything, any day, but hot cocoa is a winter thing. <laughs> you Google this a year-round thing. You'll have hot cocoa, you're camping in the summer. Exactly! 
Dude, there's nothing wrong with a cup of hot cocoa. First thing in the morning, you want to wake up, you want a nice hot drink, but you don't want hot, you don't want coffee, you don't want we're tea, saying, hot cocoa. Look, we're not saying we can't, you can't have it any day. It just is a winter thing. But I'm asking if it's specifically a winter thing or if it's valid any time of the year. Well, then you should have said that. <laughs> that wasn't the question. The question was, is hot cocoa a season thing or a year thing? Personally, it is a season thing. But it can be drinking, or, or drunk drinking, whatever, drank, anytime. But it is specifically a winter thing. Let me look it up. <laughs> so, okay, so we got someone going to the Google. The professionals are on the case right now. Dude, what is specifically anything? If anything is anything, what is everything? 18 people voted in this poll. 61% say yes. You can find any season thing any day. That do be true, dude. Pumpkin pie. Speaking of which, pumpkin pie is coming back in season right now, and I'm so happy. I love pumpkin pie. It's so good. Kevin, you're whack. Kevin, you're whack. You don't like pumpkin pie, you're whack. You can order a hot cocoa any time of the year, but you can't. Get like a shamrock shake year round, so clearly one of those is seasonal. <laughs> Damn. Dang, you That's very specific, Jay. I, I like that argument right there. That's a good argument. Kevin, do you have a rebuttal? You tell your people about your fuck up? What fuck what? up? Another 43% of hot chocolate drinkers say that they believe the beverage is not limited to winter and instead can be enjoyed year round. There's no perfect way to make hot, make hot chocolate and that is there. Scars, now I'm confused. What are you talking about? Michaela, how Bada you doing? Hope you're doing well. About a week ago, a week ago. I thought you were going to continue with Kevin. So I got excited. Imagine drinking... Dude, pumpkin. I don't think there's... Okay, pump... Okay, I'm sorry. Pumpkin spice lattes are not bad. But they are seasonal. <laughs> Bro, you're tearing us all apart. You see what you've done? Yep. Oh, yeah, the throw. I already did tell everyone, Scars. That was a fun one. That was a fun explanation. You're tearing us all apart over hot cocoa. Sweaters can be bought you... any day, but are mostly used in winter. Winter is <laughs> a <laughs> season. <laughs> How you doing, Snorlax? Welcome to Carnage. Everybody feel free to leave your vote in the poll. Is hot chocolate specifically seasonal or is it acceptable any time of the year? Wait, I already hashed all the eggs out. I gotta go to the next set. Winter is a season, but you're saying seasonal. The great hot cocoa debate of 2022. Dude, this- fuck any presidential election, fuck any, like, anything. This is the most important debate right now. This I'm your host, most Volcanic important. Arcanine. This is historically the most important thing to happen today. Changed my mind. <laughs> the great hot chocolate debate. <laughs> Uniting the Pokemon community under one common ground. A cup of cocoa. Imagine that was trending on Twitter instead of, you know what? <laughs> God damn it, Kevin. That's funny. That's funny. You figured Relax. it out. Alright, we got we got Lua's opinion now. Let's go, let's go. What's good? What's good, Lua? What's good? Enlighten <laughs> us, please and thank you. Hot cocoa does Jared slap. Was... It does. Be gone like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you got caught up in a hot cocoa debate. Now he's, been... <laughs> now he's trapped here forever. God, I love these streams. This is why I enjoy shiny hunting. God. 
Thank you guys for being an amazing community. I love you guys. Share your knowledge with us, please. Alessandro, that's, that, that's a valid point. We would like to know. The bills are up tonight. Ooh! Okay. Thank you, everyone. I want to go. For 13 uh -huh. likes. Appreciate you guys. Kevin making weird noises. Get them then, Scars. <laughs> See, Google Trends Hot Cocoa is huge in the winter. Tiny other part of the year. Dang. Oh. That's trending. That's a di There's a difference. See, we're asking seasonal, not trending. Seasonal. Uh, Lua, is there a way to pull up the, like, the sales of hot cocoa in other seasons besides, like, well, from winter and then other seasons, or is that not possible? I don't know. It might be. I don't know. That actually Probably is not. a very valid point, Kevin. I feel bad making Lua be the... Well, if you're just it. tuning into the stream now, we're having the great cocoa debate of 2022. Is hot cocoa a seasonal thing or is it year round? You straight up bought hot cocoa today. This man out here just like, fuck y'all. I can have it whenever. As far as that's illegal. Is it though? <laughs> so then what makes buying a hot coffee illegal? Because that's the same stomach. logic. Because I can drink a cold call. I can drink a Frappuccino in the winter. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kevin. <laughs> is it Thursday or is it Friday? It's Thursday. I should probably keep my voice down. I almost got worked. <laughs> I mean, it's 10 o'clock. Awake. We're good. He's saying it's a winter thing, but it can be bought any time of the year, but majority of people care about it in the winter more than any other time of year. I mean, that is fact. That is fact. So it's popular in the winter. We, we have made an agreement that it is popular in the winter. But is it specifically seasonal? Kevin, your rebuttal? Huh? Kevin, your rebuttal? I'm a bubble? No, your rebuttal. You your friends who are cocoa drinkers drink it year round. Ooh, that's a good rebuttal from Jer. See, Jer's not even in the call and he rebuttaled. Kevin, your rebuttal to Jer's rebuttal. What the hell is a rebuttal? Response to. Oh. Your friends are dumbasses, Lua. Shut up! <laughs> no, I'm sorry, oh but God. Lua's last comment was great. Nah, Scar's one food debate at a time. Wow. This debate got me up to almost 30 encounters. 30 eggs. Yeah. I got... This is my 30th egg right here. That's how long we've been arguing. <laughs> See, but nah, this is w the fun streams. Talking about that's a W. Oh, and no, no other food debates. We're having one food debate right now, and it's is hot cocoa seasonal. You don't think anyone cares if cereal is a soup or not? Exactly. If it's cold, you'll if it's cold, you'll have hot cocoa. But you think it's a winter thing? I mean, that that is a fair point. I do like warm drinks when it's cold out, and I think a lot of people do too. But you can also have hot cocoa, but it's not hot chocolate. You can have a frozen hot chocolate. Isn't hot cocoa and hot chocolate literally the same fucking thing? Yes. <laughs> then why do you think? Bruh. I'm interchanging it interchangeably. <clears throat> you can I'm have a you can have a frozen you can have a frozen hot chocolate in summer. You can take hot chocolate. Inside. Blend it with a blend it with shit, and have a frozen hot chocolate. It's still hot yeah, chocolate. It doesn't have to be hot though. That being said, by definition, then is it still considered a seasonal thing? Yeah. 
you know what else is a seasonal thing? My mom! That sounds like it would slap. Dude, exactly. You can get them from Duncan. You know what else? Wikipedia is says hot cocoa is seasonal. Wi okay, we do not use Wikipedia as credible sources here. <laughs> if the school doesn't yeah. count, Wik if the school <laughs> failed me for using Wikipedia as a credible source, I don't count that shit because it failed me. Same here, Lua. I've never drank hot cocoa outside of winter. It physically just makes no sense to Duncan me. Duncan has frozen hot chocolate year round. Exactly. Frappuccino in the winter is basically a frozen call. It's the same shit. Uh uh, because Wikipedia changed. Changed the uh, Queen Elizabeth stuff to was now, so it wins. Yeah, no, Wikipedia is gonna be on top of everything, make groundbreaking. Why would you follow what a failing education system says? I don't blame you, Al, but I don't trust Wikipedia. I don't trust Wikipedia. Never have. It failed me. Wikipedia failed me because my school failed me. Therefore, I don't trust Wikipedia. Not not credible. Not credible. You will get hot cocoa every day until winter to spite you. <laughs> okay. Keep to that word. Every time you guys record, I hope I hope you're drinking hot cocoa now. Dude, that is so hilarious. Whenever And you just be like that. This is a great suffer. stream. This is turned into an anime arc now. Oh, Jer, I'm caught up. I'm now on season two of uh, Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah, we were watching Rick and Morty. Good times, good times. Suffer yeah, hot so cocoa much. slaps. Dude, it does! Dude, hot cocoa is so good. Wikipedia is just the news. It shows you some stuff besides a ton of important info about it. Yeah. So wait, what you're telling me is hot cocoa is abusive physically? Yeah. Damn. It smacks. I would like it then if it's abusive physically. If you go to the store at 9 at night, don't make you. That See, that just sounds like a you problem. I got hot cocoa... Personally, if something smacked, I wouldn't I wouldn't be around it anymore. I have hot cocoa downstairs. Don't you dare. Mm. Hot cocoa. Sounds really good right now. Google says hot cocoa is a holiday beverage. Nah, when I think a holiday beverage, I'm thinking of eggnog. I ain't thinking of hot cocoa. Uh-uh. That's whack. That's whack. That's whack right there. It's the same excuse like saying chicken noodle soup cures all sickness. That's whack. Nah, that's the truth, brother. I don't care what you think. It's what Google says. I feel like Google is 100% wrong about that one, though. I would not consider hot cocoa a holiday beverage. That's not no holiday Wait. beverage. I don't Watch wake that. up. I don't wake up on a holiday and I'm just like, oh, it's holiday season, cocoa. Alexa, is hot cocoa a holiday beverage? Here's something I found on the web. According to Giggy.com, it's the quintessential holiday beverage that is enjoyed by adults and children alike and no holiday party would be complete without a signature hot chocolate. Oh, burn. Literally, because it's hot. <laughs> That's just lies. Your Google's way different than Lua. Dude, everyone, everyone is different than everyone. That's a fact right there. Thank you everyone for 14 likes. Much love to all you beautiful people. Appreciate you guys. Alexa, when is hot cocoa the best to drink? Well, that's not the question either. Hot cocoa is the best to drink before and between meals. What? Before <laughs> what? and in between meals. You know what? Okay, yeah. thank you. In between meals? That's not what I wanted answered. Hot cocoa is the best? Do exactly.
You can't Google ask the not... question with Holiday in the query search engines. We'll bias the words you search. Okay, I definitely probably mispronounced a couple of things and did not have proper grammar structure. But yeah, no, Jerry, you are 100% correct. That is a 100% actual factual response. Well, I don't even remember what your question was. Okay, there it is. Alexa, is hot cocoa only a season thing or a year around? Here's something I found on the web. According to Americanky.com, it's the same thing. Hot cocoa is a fabulous beverage to have any time of the year. Any time of the year. Oh, no. Wait, no, it said something at the end. Alexa, repeat. Here's something I found. Alexa, volume five. Alexa, repeat. Here's something I found on the web. According to Americanky.com, hot cocoa is a fabulous beverage to have any time of the year, especially in the winter. Especially in the winter. Okay, but it said any time of the year. Therefore, it's not seasonal. Get out of here with that. Well, it said especially, so I mean, it kind of, honestly, that, that right there just solved our entire argument. Nah. Especially in the winter doesn't mean it's seasonal. In the winter. But that doesn't make it seasonal. Anything we'll can be drinked any time of the year. Yes, you can drink anything any time of the year. That is an actual fact. Lemonade, iced tea, bleach... Uh, milk. Do not drink. Not. The, do not drink one of those. <laughs> do it. Do it. We do not speak on behalf of many face impressions. I think he is going senile. No, I, I, I don't know. I'm just a big fan of Joker. I think. Can't drink his camera. <laughs> shake any time. <laughs> That's a fact. If I save it in my fridge, and for like. December or something, then yeah, I could drink it then. Do you know how disgusting that's going to be if you save it in your fridge? No, it still counts. No, but in your fridge? Age. We didn't say anything about age. <laughs> in your fridge. That is going yeah. to be disgusting, Kevin. Why would you oh, drink that? Oh, well, it still, it still counts as drinking it, so technically he's wrong. No. No. That's like saying, that's like saying no. you can't eat a brick. Technically, you can eat a brick. If you were just break it up into little pieces and then swallow it, that's eating a brick. Oh my fucking god, Kev Kevin, no, Kevin. My argument with you is not what you're saying. My argument is that you would leave it in the fridge. As Obi-Wan Kenobi once said, well, it is true from a certain point of view. My argument with you has nothing to do with you doing any of that. It's everything to do with it being in the fridge. Oh yeah. In the okay, fridge like is the, fridge. the problem. Nah, I don't know what he's talking about. Like I said still counts as drinking it so i'll put it anywhere i'll leave it out on the i'll leave it out in the sun and i'll still drink it in 20 or five months that you Just will get sick at any time a hot cocoa can be bought year round so why would you not why would it not be a year round thing that's a that's a point right there in aloha or in alola they sell tapu coco year round and that's in hawaii that's also a Pokemon game, though. You just posted this question on another app and asked. Good, let them fight. Funny. Dude, it's a it's a split vote right now in the poll. 50-50 down the middle. Everyone, this stream <laughs> is split. 90% of the commentary on this stream has just been us going back and forth. <laughs> Dude, this, is, this has been a shiny hunt in the background. We're talking about more important matters. This is the big Coco debate 2022. But yeah, like I said, this is the most important thing that happened today. How much longer on the Splatoon 3, Han? What do you mean? Until it's not hot Coco. My you have three more hours left. Or two more hours, sorry. 
Obviously, as Christmas gets close, there are more ornaments up. What does ornaments have to do with hot cocoa, though? This is a split community. Half saying one thing, half saying another. I don't know what you talking about. Everybody's agreeing on the fact that it's a winter oh, thing. Nope, it just oh. went up one. <laughs> Missed the previous message. You can buy Christmas ornaments year round, but they're for Christmas. That is true. That is true. You can buy them year round. I don't know why you would, though. People like getting it early because it's on clearance. That is true. Like I cannot hate that just statement. Like hot cocoa, Clarence. Bro, baby. But hot cocoa. Oh. I've never seen hot cocoa on Christmas or on on Christmas on debate or not on debate on clearance. I Jesus, I can't English tonight for shit. I have never seen hot cocoa on clearance once. Gary Oak, how you doing? That is true, Gary Oak. Welcome to the um, great cocoa debate of 2022. Uh, leave your vote in the poll. You don't see anyone drinking hot cocoa any other time. See, I feel like if Jer was here, and this was me and Jer doing this race, no offense, Kevin, he, me and him would both get up, pause the stream, go make a cup of cocoa, come back and drink said cocoa. Guys, King Bob is King Bob is gonna take over now. Gary Oaks is most definitely a winter thing. Dang. I'm hurt, man. I'm hurt. One piece cream! Like, you wouldn't eat soup on a hot day? That's not true. I've had soup on a hot day. You can have soup whenever. Do you drink coffee on a hot day, Gary Oak? That's the question for you. Only lower life forms drink hot cocoa outside of winter. Dang, Jer, I guess we're lower life forms. We have a Pokemon champion on our team. Gary Oak. Look at that. Damn. He has already outnumbered. Because if he agrees, all of his Pokemon agree too, so. Mm. Nah. Hot cocoa only feels correct in the winter. Same as how coffee is mostly a morning thing. Like, yeah, people people could drink coffee in the evening, but it's meant for the morning. I wouldn't say it's that's awkward. true. I wouldn't say that's yeah, true. <laughs> no, nah, there were some times where I'd get out of work. I'd be tired. I'd have a shit ton of time. I'd drink cup of coffee, wake up, grab brush, do a little makeup, hide scars to fade away to shake up. Why'd you leave the keys up on the table? You know, all that good stuff. What? There you go, Korean, another fable. You wanted to? <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, who came out of the room? Who is that? Is that Jonah? Jonah, come here. I need to ask you a very important question. Oh, yeah. Get their opinion. All right. Let's get your opinion on this poll. So everybody in chat's having an argument over it. Is hot cocoa only a cold season thing or year-round? Cold season. There we go. Nah, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here with that. You can, have, you can drink hot coffee whenever. You can drink hot cocoa whenever. Okay, 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 hold up then. Rebuttal. Why does Dunkin' Donuts sell frozen hot chocolate? Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> it's that cold. If he's cold as fuck when he's drinking a hot tomato during the fucking summer, get the fuck out. Nah, you tripping. You tripping. Man's be tripping, Kevin. Man's be tripping. Uh, so you just... <laughs> Man's be tripping. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> frozen hot chocolate? Yeah, you can go to Dunkin' you've got buy a frozen hot chocolate. That's, that's an actual thing. So then it's just frozen chocolate. No, it's a frozen hot chocolate. That's what it's called. Frozen hot chocolate. Then it's not hot, though. Your logic is not adding up? What do you mean? There's logic. It's called a frozen hot chocolate. <laughs> it's called hot logic. Or hot, hot logic. Fuck. Hot. Okay, you drink a hot, hot chocolate, but you can also drink a cold, hot chocolate. It's still hot chocolate. Hot coffee pot. Well, when you drink coffee, it can be cold coffee or hot coffee. Depends on how you want it. 
Uh, I'm on the winter side roost, and so is Lua. <laughs> nah, you can drink hot cocoa whenever. It don't gotta be hot, and still be hot cocoa. Well, and Gary is too. Gary's on the, uh, I think. Yeah, Gary's on the winter side as well. And then everybody else is on. Start the... playing Phoenix Wright music, <laughs> bruh. Oh, Mars just here plugging. That's it. <laughs> Thursday, the garbage right needs to be taken. Fight me, Kevin. Dang, Snorlax got himself a cup of it right now and said, "Fight me, Kevin." What are you gonna do, Kevin? What are you uh, gonna do? you. Oh, I'll suck you. Right, that's that's pretty sauce. He's gonna smack you. Uh, I wanted to copy off of a funny cartoon character, and that's when he's supposed to punch me in the hey, face. Yo, and I'm like, on my go side. Go, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Uh, See, Michaela knows the truth. Michaela knows the truth. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe in this bitch. Kayla, you've betrayed us. You've betrayed us, Winter Side. <laughs> this is literally Winter Soldier. Oh no, was it? Nah, this is fucking. This is this is Captain Civil America War. Civil War. Up. There you go. It, if you drink hot cocoa year round, coffee during the evening edit. sounds to me like you need to drink more water. What the what? Now I'm gonna make that an edit. <laughs> I'm gonna make that a Photoshop edit where it's just gonna be uh, gonna be Captain America Cocoa War, and then it's gonna be our faces plastered <laughs> under different characters. Please do it. Please do it. That'd be fucking <laughs> great. Luna's already screen recording it. Dang. That's how you know. This, this debate is going to hit Twitter. This debate is going to hit Twitter. I bet you. Let's get let's get all of the greatest minds in the Pokemon community together to debate this. What, what does, does water, water have to do with it? I mean, water's technically in it, or milk, depending on how you want your coffee or cocoa. Yeah, wait a minute. You just done fucked yourself. What? Hot cocoa is technically just the powder. So if anything, you're not drinking it at all. Oh shit, you're eating it. So wait, so Girl. wait, hold up, hold up. How, what is coffee then? Beans, like I said. <laughs> That's right, just bean juice. Go. I'm going to go quickly help bring this garbage by the road i will be right back uh i'm gonna leave off really quick with saying uh winter nah it ain't winter for those of you that are just tuning in right now welcome to the great hot cocoa debate of 2022 technically cocoa starts as a bean dang that's even that's even more fact that's true chocolate is just They're fermented all... bean guts that is true so what I'm hearing is we're all arguing about beans. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh, that is an actual factual fact. Coffee is bean juice. Hot chocolate is bean juice. That is true. That is true. But that's not the question. The question is, is hot chocolate seasonal? Kevin, what the fuck are you doing? Um, oh, and I can't beat it. <laughs> That's funny. I'm trying to. I was trying to set it you up for you. Can one read thing. Do you drink smoothies and slushies in the winter? Actually, yeah. It depends on what it is. Depends on if I'm in the mood too. You have issues, <laughs> Nah, I just like. I like certain things, Kevin. You oh, failed, Roy. Hey, you. I'll be back. Imagine ice cream says winter. That's funny. Nah, imagine it says se year round. Fuck seasonal shit. This is the greatest stream argument we've had in a while. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> he came back <laughs> with Wallowy. What the fuck? Dude, this, is, this has been a great stream. Thank you everybody so much for 16 likes. We all appreciate you. It ain't seasonal. Exactly. Exactly. Nah, we need to get the greatest minds alike.
Nah, I, I, I genuinely... I, I don't think there's a difference, okay? If I want to drink something, I'm going to drink it. It don't matter what time it is. What the fuck's with the Waluigi? You think I know? This is Kevin we're talking about here. I also forgot that I hashed all my eggs. Okay, so I did. Not gonna try anything. Team year round, amen. Let's go. All your friends who shiny hunt aren't on right now. Damn, dang. Team year round, do exactly. You can drink it whenever. It don't matter. It's just tasty. See, I got I phoned a fat man. Mark gave me an answer. And Snorlax giving the same answer. Phone a fat man. I got phone one more fat man. My ass is already here. Y'all know my answer. <laughs> what roots? Actually, what? I am so confused. Dog, you are on crack. With what you just said, I have no clue what you mean. Major rip, though. You do get Waluigi for your enjoy in streaming intent, so I can't English right now, but enjoy Waluigi. We are on beans, that is true. We are on the topic of beans, but subcategorized in said topic of beans. You were gonna say something, then you didn't. McDonald's is messed up. That is true. Chat is biased because you're actually doing a shiny hunt? What? Nah, what do you mean? McDonald's is... I have no clue what that is. When it comes to that, I, I have no clue what that is, Snorlax. The best is Willy Wonka. Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka was creepy as hell. Yep. Are, wait, are we just switching? I'm so confused. I'm Damn so it, Mac! Why are you screaming? My, sis, boy, my sister's boyfriend said year round. Yo, tell your sister's boyfriend he knows where it's at. That, that, that's a man who understands finer things in life. One my homie anymore. <laughs> nah, Kevin. You can't hate a homie for liking something year-round. That shame on you, man. Shame on you. Winter! Elmo, it's a winter thing! Elmo, take Kevin's hand out of your ass for once, please. Ke okay, Kevin, whatever you say. We know you're forcing Elmo to say that. I'm not forcing anybody to say anything. You guys are outnumbered. I got five people next to me that will agree. Actually, I got 200 plus. 200 plus. Okay, say they all count as one, though, because it's all hive mind in your brain. Ah, oh, man. Are the voices somehow coming out of your mouth? Ah, oh, man, that's, that's Rick Sanchez and shit, like... Like, even he agrees. Dude, Rick Sanchez told... wouldn't even give a fuck. Yes, he would. No, he wouldn't. He'd give, like, a full-on scientific exp explanation, being like... Rick's... You're wasting time, dumbass. Yeah, like, you're wasting like time. You can drink whatever you want, whenever you want. Dang, people are Emerald, adding you. <laughs> you just got added. How does it feel, Kevin, to get added? Elmo, don't starting blink. A new debate? Nah, we ain't we ain't starting a new debate. This this is the debate. This is the debate. No, I want to start a new debate. This one's boring. All right, we're starting a new debate. Shit. Okay. I want to do. Hey, the, the debates are fun, but this one's getting repetitive. I want a new one. It's because we lost everyone who's arguing it. No, it's just not going anywhere. Okay. Um. <laughs> One side win. But clearly we win. Woo! Nah, y'all didn't win. Y'all got more votes. Yeah, that's how that's how debates work. Majority vote. Yeah, that's how it works. I don't votes. know what you're talking about. Uh, you lie. Um, 
Damn, you're starting to sound like every every Republican last <laughs> two years. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's another good one that I can put in chat? What's another good one? No. What is a good one? I don't know. Give us suggestions, people. Let's make this interesting. Also, Bruce, I think everyone can agree that Depp is the better Willy Wonka anyway, so... Besides, his music, or his Oompa Loompa's music was so much better. Chewing, chewing all day long. Chewing, chewing all day long. Okay, okay. I got, the, I got the next hot take question of the stream. You are, you are tuning in to the great food debate of 2022. I'm your host, Volcanic. Here we got your sub-host, Money Face Impressions. Is cookie a cake or a cookie? Is cookie cake huh? a cake or a cookie? Cookie cake. Well, normally it's made out of cookies, so it's a cookie. But is it a cookie or a cake? Well, cake is like the cake. Like, okay, so. But why is it I'm called cookie cake? Made out of, but it's like the flour mixture and all that other stuff or whatever. A cookie cake is literally just a giant cookie. But then why is it it's called cookie cake? Because it's a cookie in the shape of a cake. It's a cookie the size of a cake. But then why is it's it called a cookie cake? Ice cream cake is called ice cream cake because it's in the shape of a cake, but it's all made of ice cream. No, it's not. There's cake in the ice cream cake. You've never had ice cream cake. I'm... You have had weird ice cream cake. I have ice cream cake all the time. You, well, your ice cream cake. cake is whack. Your team cake you on this one. It seems like you're the only one by themselves, Alessandro, because it's cookie to cake. I'm indifferent on this one because I, I don't care. <laughs> but this is a good debate, and I I don't mind exp or, um I don't mind asking the questions. The world wants to know. How you doing, Justin? Hope you're doing well. I can also just do this, Alexa. Is a cookie cake an actual cake or a cookie? Oh, God damn it, Kevin! You just gotta ruin my phone. According to Wikipedia.org, uh -oh. a cookie cake is a large cookie that can be decorated with icing or fondant like a cake. Okay, well, I know Wikipedia is not a great source, but that literally explains it. All right, well, Very well. All right, well let, me, let me think of a different poll, okay? I, I can clearly see that you guys do not enjoy that poll. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll make a better one. Give me a second. God. I had cookies before, so I win in the end. I could I genuinely cookies. piss off all of the Pokemon community with one question. Do it. All right. Let's see, what is it gonna be like? Gen two is the best game or some shit. All right, everybody. What? <laughs> this isn't welcome, a Pokemon Goy. Welcome to the Great Star Wars Debate 2022. Who shot first? Connor Greedo. Yeah, okay. 90% of Star Wars. Not, a, not, not many people know this one. We're talking about soda wise? <laughs> yeah, nobody knows who this is. Okay, Nick. Clearly, and it shows big time. Okay, Alessandro's the only person that knows. <laughs> okay, okay, ah! great. I'm sorry. Bad poll. I'm sorry. Okay, I need another poll. Look what you guys are making me do. See, so I'm trying to provide quality entertainment content for you, and here we are. Kevin, Kevin I can't hear you. No one can hear you. Han, by It was Han, by the way. Yes, that is correct. Han shot Greedo in the blast as soon as they both shot at the same time. If you slow down the frame by frame per second though, Han shot first into Greedo, causing Greedo to shoot back. Because of reflux. Okay, um, let's see. What's the next debate question, Kevin? I'm gonna piss off everyone. <laughs> Nobody understands why to be pissed. <laughs> Pretty much what that was. Ow. 
Oh, here's a good one. Dogs or cats? Which is better? Nah. Nah, because there's going to be a lot of people who are like, I like both of them equally. Mm, that, that, that's just like... Have to choose. Nah, I'm... I, the one with the hot cocoa was a good one because there's only two choices. Period. We need a two-choice question. But this is... What? <laughs> Fine. Okay, there we go. That's a... Well, Emerald put is a good one. But then again, everybody's going to say bowl first. Or... Cereal first and then milk. I think everyone can agree on that one. Yeah, I can <laughs> agree on that one. Cereal then milk. But yeah, bowl first. It has to be in bowl or it's not real. Um Alright, let's see what's the next great what's the next great debate of twenty twenty two gonna be. <laughs> oh, this is a funny one. <laughs> Should Kevin go bald? Question mark. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> I mean, Kevin, you would look like Walter White. There, I'm bald. Are you happy now? No, I can see hair on your head. No, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do my man's like that. Nah, I ain't gonna do my man's like that. However, you could pull a good Walter White off. You could actually I'm pull Walter man. White off. This is what I used to look like with short hair, by the way, guys. Can you believe that? Can you believe that I look like an actual human being with short hair? Yeah, I, I can believe it. Pizza or I'm burger? Just kidding. Pizza or burger? Will look like Vsauce. Oh my god. You mean Michael? Alright, everybody. Alright, everybody. I'm about to make all of this stream angry. The next great food debate is out. Taco is a wrap. No, nah, it's not that one. Is pineapple know, acceptable sad. as a topping on pizza? Place your votes in I've the poll. I've never had it. This one, because I've never had pineapple on pizza, and I truly don't know if it is actually good or not. Because I have very mixed opinions from everyone. Everyone is, I, like, blowing up this I, poll right now. So maybe I probably, I most likely won't like it. <laughs> How you doing, Knuckles? Hope you're doing well. Everyone is start this. <laughs> this one got people mad. <laughs> that one got people mad. Okay, we, we we now have a debate, Kevin. We now have a debate. All right, state your sides, oh. boys. State your sides. Pineapple and pizza. I've never had it, so I can't judge it. Like I've had hot, hot cocoa before. That's why I was able to join in that one. I've never ever. And pineapple on pizza yet. So, most places, when you get pineapple on pizza, it's it's kind of like dehydrated, to be completely honest. It, it just turns into dehydrated pineapple. If they don't do it right. And most places don't know how to do it right. If you are just tuning in, you missed the Great Cocoa Debate of 2022. Now we're on the Great Pineapple Debate of 2022. Please... Put your opinion in the poll. We would love to hear it. Also, leave a like if you haven't. Appreciate you guys. How y'all doing tonight? Is pineapple acceptable as a topping on pizza? It is your decision. 11 of you guys have voted. 46% of you say yes. It is acceptable. Whereas 36 of you think you are heathens. If you do it right, let you You're at the start off. of the debate on camera. Oh, whoops. Welcome to the great pizza debate of pineapple as a topping acceptable on pizza. 
Boom, right here, shiny pop. What about strawberries with pasta? That sounds disgusting. 36% of you guys disgust me, says Luna. Dang. Yeah. 50. You disgust me. It's 64. 64% say yes. Like, Scoo! Number's pretty big! That is over... That is two-thirds of the chat is saying yes. Or almost two-thirds of the chat saying yes. It is acceptable as topping on pizza. That is pretty insane. Is it acceptable to snap spaghetti noodles? I will fucking slap you. Oh wait, they hatched. I keep going around in circles thinking that I have eggs in my inventory. Not Rowlets. So how disgusting your Mew was earlier. Dang, that's unfortunate, Knuckles. No, you do not know the way to the queen no more. Kevin is very unamused right now. Huh? No. I was thinking about how I agree with Knuckles and I like playing as Mew. Oh yeah, no. Kevin loves Mew. Alright, well, I feel like you guys kind of brushed past this uh, debate pretty quick. Um, you can't add anything to it. That's why I was just quiet. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. This one got ended pretty quick. Thank you, everybody. Alright, um... I got it. She got solar beamed. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, what's the next one, Kevin? What's the next hot debate of, hot debate of the day? Mm. Come on, you think of one. You think of one. Which generation of Pokemon is more overrated? Gen 5 or Gen 4? I think. I think it's a good one. Actually, I mean, that one's pretty easy to... I'm, Actually, no. I don't know. I am adding a third option. What, Gen 1? I'm adding a fourth option. The answer is both. Well, I feel like the Gen 4... Alright, folks, um, welcome uh, to the great there's... Pokemon debate of 2022. I'm your host, Volcanic Argonine. It didn't, but ever since the new games came out and, sh and shit like that, the the hype for them start, just died out a lot, and people don't really true. like Gen 4. Which is sad, because Gen, Gen 4 is great. But I definitely feel like Gen 4 is one of the most... Gen mm. 4's got a whopping 75%. In no particular order. Gen 2 and 5 have 0% of the vote. It is only Gen 1 and Gen 4. That is insane. I'm surprised. Luna's saying Charizard be overrated. That's just a fact. Oh yeah, that's a that's another one we can do. We can name off a list of Pokemon. Well, actually, no, that one's too easy because we all know Charizard's way too overrated. The only person that would say is not is Lua. <laughs> What's more overrated, Charizard or um, Greninja? Goku. Oh, that's an, that's another good one for later. That's a good one for later. When this Charizard's debate Marvel. loses steam, that's a good choice. Charizard's in every single One Pokemon vote game. has hit Gen 5. That is an insane viewpoint. Who was the person who, does not, who thinks Gen 5 is overrated? Please state your name. Where are you calling from? Charizard is used in every single Pokemon game, including the side series games. It's a main character, and it's got his own place in 
Um, Smash. It's got two Mega Evolutions, one Gigantamax form. It was one of the very few Pokemon to have a reworked shiny. It got its like, own entire... island in the anime. Yeah. It's used by the Galar champion. It's used by a lot of the champion based characters like red and stuff so that's a fact hey, yo we're getting another raid welcome on in raiders how hey. are you beautiful people doing hope you're having a fantastic day today thank you for grabbing the links homies we what get were you guys doing by... tonight what were you guys doing raid. tonight and that is true yo, was jo want a sprite cranberry Bro, I can't wait for Sprite Cranberry to come back. That's so good. It was pretty good. Wasn't that a Thanksgiving Dude, drink? I love Sprite Cranberry. Dude, I can't wait until October because the new savor or the new flavor of uh, the Halloween brew for Dew, which is always really good. Voodoo's coming back, baby. I'm hoping Voodoo's gonna be good this year. What were you up I to, have though, J-Man? Real quickly, to say hello to everyone, J-Man, Draken, Joe Mama, Mudkip. How you beautiful people doing tonight? Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day today. Y'all were doing 2v2 grinding. Nice, nice. That's what's up. So, for those of you guys that are just tuning into the stream today, you have missed two very big debates that we've had. The first debate being, is hot chocolate seasonal or year-round? Now we're in the second debate of which Pokemon generation is the most overrated. Thank you to everyone who has not voted Gen 2. You will make me so happy. Fill my heart with joy. I don't know why you put Gen 2 on that list. If anything, Gen 3 would probably be more popular than Gen 2. I thought Gen 2 was pretty popular, I ain't gonna lie. I love or even Gen, Gen 8. I love Gen 2. Although Gen 8 is technically not popular for Wait, good reasons. I am done. Bad reasons. Yeah, so for those of you guys... Why am I in here? For those of you guys that are new here, if you guys haven't, go check out my boy Many Face Impression. He is the at I, in the title. And also, I do, obviously. He does impressions. They are pretty funny. And if you guys you also... God damn, we keep talking over each other, Kevin. Thank you, Luna. If you guys haven't, go check out the second channel as well. I do video content now, too. It is pretty lit. You guys are going to like it. I had a new video up the other day, and it's really freaking good. So go check it out, guys. If you're looking for some video content to unwind down on the night with, it is really good. I promise you. But if you guys haven't, definitely consider leaving a like, subscribing, and voting in the poll. Letting us know what you think your opinion of the great Pokemon debate is. Four got its spot in the light, so we can actually stop kissing Game Freak's butt and look at Jen that actually deserves it. Oh yeah, no, that's why I'm hoping to God that we can get um Gen 4 or Gen 2 remakes. Like, not as like a remake on the Switch, but like give us um Legends Johto. Gen, give me a Legends Johto. No, if anything, they're going to be doing Gen 5 remakes and then a Legends game for Gen 5 next. That would make the most sense for them to do. I would like to see a Gen 5 game, actually, but I really want Johto. Like like Jer mentioned, and I want to see this happen, I want them to make... Cure them whole. Making a Gen 5 remake. Remake it to look like how Octopath Traveler, what the hell it game was called like that where it's like the 3d 2d sprite work yeah that'd be freaking cool okay okay they... i would it'd be a new art style, even though people will complain about it because whenever they try out a new art style everyone's gonna whine about it but it'd be sick as hell and you then a legends game gen 5 same then a Legends game for it explaining the origin form of 
uh, Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kieran will be sick that as hell. That would be amazing. That would be so cool. Would that be the first Pokemon to finally have three types? Maybe. They could probably pull it off. Because it what be would like you the... consider um, fire and electric as a combination? Explosion? The explosion type? Explosion just gets its own move. It's no longer normal. It's just explode. How you doing, Christopher, by the way? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Appreciate you, homie. Appreciate you. Thank you, everyone, for 20 likes. You guys are amazing. And it looks like Gen 4 is still winning the poll at 59% of the vote. You like Gen 4 and 5? I can respect that. See, it's not that we're saying we don't like the generations of Pokemon games. It's which one is the most overrated. You are in the hot seat. Yeah, I love I love Gen 4. It was yeah. my first ever Pokemon. Pokemon Platinum, specifically. Dude, Platinum was such a great game. It was so freaking what? great. I don't know. I want to know what Pokemon is. But Dude. it's definitely overrated. Oh, 100%. On to the next box we go. Will we stop? Nope. There could be a shiny in me box. The world may never know. What is odds for Masuda with charm? What are the odds? Yeah. 100 or 1 out of 612. Oh, okay, that's or not that bad. What's Masuda without like, or what's Masuda without charm? No, I think it's five twelve and then six twelve without charm. Okay, it's only a hundred difference. I do not have five hundred eggs in my box though, so we will be probably getting more eggs. Well, I'm currently at sixty eggs, so. I have crossed the two box mark as well. Mark! Mark! <laughs> Sorry, I'm like leaning back, giving my back a little rest. I was leaning forward a lot. <laughs> nah, you're good. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Do I have the charm? Yes, I do. That was one of the first things we did as a YouTube channel was get me the charm so I could do DAs with everyone and have DA odds with the same as everybody. Uh, I got my shiny charm two days after the game released. Yeah, we are getting shiny charm as fast as we are like sitting down and getting shiny charm. Because the good thing is, I'm going to be sleepwalking the game. If you guys didn't know, I'm sleepwalking Gen 8, or Gen 9. It's going to be lit. But... Oh, so excited for those games! Dude. Best thing about the game... Best thing about it, though, Kevin, with sleepwalking the game, is we will be able to get a head start on all of the um, DLC... Or not DLC, all of the, like, Pokedex stuff. Like, I'll be able to get ahead of everything. I'm, I'm going to be... Because apparently it's like the whole Legends-based um, Pokedex stuff of some sort, I oh, think, it is? or something like that. It's all going to be down for that. As a completionist, and the fact that this is going to be two different... There are two games, each of them need to be complete. I'm going to be spending so long on these damn games. It's not even funny. You got shiny Drowsy and Abra. Ooh, nice, nice. Did not mean to open my poker decks.
You know why I would like to see Legends Johto, though? Because maybe we could get the, um, the Kanto Johto War, which would be sick. Nah, if we're ever going to get that, we're going to get the, uh, Suicune, Entei Raikou background. Yeah, no, it's definitely going to be a lot of story behind that. All that stuff. I think that's the last egg. Yep. Yep, it is. Dang. Eggs loved me last night. Come on, eggs. Give me some love. Oh, Kevin, I am one, two, three. I'm on my fourth box. Damn. Yeah, so I am a box ahead of you. Good thing is, I know how I'm going to get rid of the Pokemon. Gotta thank Pokemon Home for that one and be able to get rid of it later. Your shiny Rowlet Litlin on shield. I don't have any of these shiny, so I am very excited to go and do these. Because I have... This is my first ever Masuda Hunt. I have not done a Masuda Hunt before, so this is pretty exciting. Well, yes, you have, but you know, no one on stream. I didn't even mean to get it that early. I just took a few eggs for myself, and then I was like, alright, I'll hatch these out, along with hatching the other ones out, put them on my team... Hatched them That's out, the and I got a shiny. Yeah, it's what they all say. Kevin, that's literally what happened, though. I know, and that's what they all say. Kevin, you little bitch. Fuck you. I know. You see. God dang it, I... Oh, I already finished my iced tea. <laughs> that you don't feel so wonderful. <laughs> I don't. I thought you were going to do bam, bam, bam. Dang it. What shiny did I get? I was going to go for throw today. And then I got freaking shiny, um... I got shiny throw. So now we're going for the starters because I don't have any of these yet. And I'm like, I want this. Egg scrambled sounds delicious with hot sauce and some cubed ham in it. Okay, I see you, Space Ghost. I see you. I don't know if I would specifically do hot sauce, but I do know what I want now, and I do want an omelet. How are you, though, doing... How are you doing tonight, though, Mr. Space Ghost? Let us know. Let us know. Hope you're having a good evening. The new pick is pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you, though, Christopher. I appreciate it. Luke, how you doing, homie? Hope you're doing well. We appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in the stream. Let us know how you're doing tonight. We'd love to hear from you. You guys missed a hell of a stream earlier today. You missed the great hot cocoa debate. Or the great cocoa debate of 2022. Ain't that right, Kevin? Uh, yeah, it was PokeTuber Coco War. <laughs> Civil, Civil Coco. Would you like, like would you like to explain what you thought of it? The most, uh, most important? Winter. No, 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 the most important. Yeah, that was the most important. 
Well, finish it, cause you. Ha God damn it, Kevin! Fuck you. Meal of the day. Serving it up Gary's way. You're doing good, but you're a bit tired. All good, homie. I appreciate you. Or well, I pre again. I know I know how you're feeling, homie. Appreciate you for being in the stream, though. Thank you for tuning in, hanging out, and having a good time with us. I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna do. I can get a fourteen dollar an hour job. I actually have a chance to get that job. I just gotta figure out a ride there and back. I don't know. Um, my rebuttal is do it. No, I need a. I need to figure out rides, and I also need to figure out work hours and stuff. I won't be able to. I don't. Ninety percent sure I won't be able to go in whenever they need a new person because I'll need to know ahead of time. If that's the case. Three, two, egg. Oh? Oh. Oh? Oh. I'm, I should be close to this egg hatching right now. Just settling down for the night. 6 a.m. rolls way too fast for work. Dude, 6 a.m. always rolls up on you faster than you could ever believe. There have been a lot of nights the past couple of nights that I've been editing and... Not even paying attention to the time. Look over. It's 6 a.m. I'm like, oh, great. I wanted to go to sleep early. I'm caught up in an edit. Edits can sometimes be no bueno. Welcome to adulthood, Kevin. Says Space Ghost. Nope. It's not even early that it's old. I just got screwed over because nobody taught me how to drive. <laughs> yeah. That is also a unfortunate circumstance. I am not a mid-class citizen like 90% of people that were in my high school. So. I wouldn't even say I'm mid-class. I kind of just forced my way into learning how to drive, though. Because I was like, I need to learn how to do this. So it was like a, you're teaching me kind of thing. You know what I mean? And you being able to do that? Fair enough. You wish your first job was 14 an hour. You started at 7.25. That's a mood. I think I started at 10. I'm trying to get this job. I just gotta figure out if he'll answer me. Just don't answer me about the fucking hours. I texted him earlier today. He still hasn't answered me. So, I'm gonna ask him tomorrow, I guess. Gonna give him the big ask? Do it! Oh, Jesus. Monkey. Come here, woman. Give me an egg. Give me an egg. Give me egg that has a seal in it, because that, that makes total sense. I mean, I have egg that has bird. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> There's egg that has cat. I know. It's weird. Then there's egg that has seal. Yeah, that's what I said. So it doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. I don't. I don't make a dime unless I'm doing art commissions. You guys should commission Kevin. He does good art. He does good art. I need money. <laughs> My art is very mediocre. I wouldn't say it's mediocre. Have a good night, Luna. Much love, homie. We appreciate you being in the stream. Oh, come on. 
Oh, you bloody wanker. See the manual transmission is slowly phasing out. Even your work truck is automatic now. You miss manual. Oh, I'm going to be so sad when manual is gone. Manual is like a very important thing everyone should learn. Huh? Manual transmission. The hell is that? Way... It, it, it... So, cars are typically nowadays in automatic, but manual is you shift the gear yourself. Like how you would shift a gear on a bike. You're physically doing it yourself. It's a very important thing to learn how to do in life. Not even just, like, driving, but everyone should know how to drive manual, period. Because it, it, driving manual is fun. Let me exp let me say that first and foremost. Driving manual is fun. Well, we don't need to learn it considering every car is getting rid of it. <laughs> Manual transmission cars also last longer, if taken care of. Way better. Way better. And the eggs are hatching. Yay! Can I get a shiny, please? Oh, are we both hatching at the same time? That's kind of funny. It would have been funny if they were both shiny at the same time. No shiny. God dang, I'm sad. Kevin's hatching an egg too. I did not get a good shiny right here. I can totally relate. See, I told you. Dude, I'm hoping just to get the shiny really <laughs> early so you can be like, what the fuck, man? No oh, shinies. Only explanation are expensive sport cars, maybe custom pickup trucks. Yeah, that's true. That's the only stuff that is manual anymore now. However, Tesla did say they want to make a manual Tesla, and I'd like to see how that works. Because that could be pretty cool. But it's not going to have the rev of an engine, which is just sad. Cars are starting to become obsolete. It's sad. It's sad. I hate it. I really hate it. Becoming eco-friendly. Ugh. <laughs> no, but like, you got- Tell me that you don't like the sound of a good, a nice car's engine. Not really. I find it to be very overrated and very annoying a lot of the times. You're whack. When you grow up in a small town that's full of non-stop rednecks revving their engines and blowing smoke into your face, you kind of get annoyed over it. Okay, but you're judging rednecks. I'm judging cars as a whole. Because now every time I hear that sound, that's all I think about. Because it just sounds just like that. Which, Kevin, hurtful. I, I'm part redneck. It's, uh, kind of useless. I don't think it's useless drive by it and then purposely rev it as loud as they can. I'm like, oh, you're cool. I bet you have a really big pee pee. <laughs> That's what you think when someone revs their engine, bro, for shame. Yeah. Because they would do it because they think they hot, they're hot shit or whatever. That's not I'm why like, you do that, Kevin. Huh? That's not why you do that. Some car engines sound really good. Yeah. person that has done it has done it because of that. <laughs> That's not in my area. Not in no. my area. In my area, way different, my guy. I'm in the country. You're not. Yeah, sorta, kinda. I wouldn't say that's the, the only reason people fl like dump the. Nah, 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 nah. You're fine with the engine sound, but when you take off the muffler, you hate it. So, like, that's why certain mufflers are certain ways. Like, people who, like, cherry bomb their muffler? Nah, no, that's stupid. Like, a louder muffler to actually let the engine sound how it's supposed to sound, I'm okay with. 
But like remove that? Nah. However, there's oh, yeah. this one really, really, really nice like 76 Mustang that like my neighbor has. And this cars. thing is so, so freaking beautiful. But it's Classic loud cars. as shit. Like, my grandpa used to be really big on all those old fashioned trucks from like the 1900s and shit like that. And my one of my family members owns a a replica. Is that what you call oh, those cool. things? Uh, uh, a, a kit car. What's that? No, what's the one car? It's got like the big. It's the orange car. It's got the big one O or zero one. Was it Dukes of Hazard? Right. I know what, what you're called. talking about, but I don't know specifically what car that is. I know the name of it, but. One of my family members has an exact replica of that. It's got the horn and everything. And when I heard that engine, that was cool to me. That one I actually found pretty cool. Yeah. But that's what I'm trying to say. New, though, like new car trucks that I just almost like, wow, so cool. Your car makes a sound. I don't mind the sound but, of like the exotics though, the luxuries and exotics. They sound pretty good. General Lee, that's what it was. Yeah. Like it even has like that. Oh my god. It's so cool because <laughs> it, when they had it in their garage and they uh, played the horn, it echoed through the garage. It sounded so cool. <laughs> okay, see, but like that, that's a good, like, classic cars are nice and the nice. Uh, oh, I thought that was shiny for a second because of lighting. Tesla. <laughs> You're right, Tox. That is a nice engine, because it's quiet. <laughs> You're also dangerous as hell. How you doing, Tox? And so is drinking and smoking, but people still allow that, so... Drinking in moderation is not bad for you, and I can't say anything about the second one. All right, tell that to your liver. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol is not horrible for you. A lot of it is bad, but it's not horrible for you. <laughs> it's literally a type of poison. Then explain why they say um, red wine is healthy for you. That's wine. That's, but wine that's is different. also alcohol. Isn't it mainly like a fucking olive shit or whatever the fuck it is? Grape or whatever? It's grape juice, but it's fermented. The fermentation is alcohol, Kevin. I don't fucking know. That's why I'm saying what you said is not true at all. Well, it is a type of poison. That is true. Well, yes. That no, it is a type of poison, but it's not bad for you. I'm curious now. Alexa, is red wine good for you? While healthiness depends on personal health considerations, red wine is a good source of potassium and vitamin B6. Yes. So it depends on the person. So is caffeine, but people still consume coffee. Oh, well, there you go. That's a good point. Caffeine was actually scientifically proven recently that it's actually a good thing. It's still a freaking drug, though. Coffee. Bean juice. Like weed. It's just a plant. <laughs> it just grow like that. Exactly. They didn't choose to do it. Sources, Top my source... His source is Alexa. No, I've heard somewhere. I don't remember where the hell I've heard it from before. The caffeine thing. I think it was my older brother that told me. But I'm not 100% certain. Alexa, is caffeine good for you? According to Wikipedia, caffeine Bruh. is a central nervous system stimulant that reduces fatigue and drowsiness. 
At normal doses, caffeine has variable effects on learning and memory, but it generally improves reaction time, wakefulness, concentration, and motor coordination. I don't want to source from Wikipedia, but thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that, Wikipedia! For those who are wondering why I said Wikipedia was not allowed, it's because I already said it's not allowed. Yeah, he's like every English teacher that exists. No, I got failed because Wikipedia doesn't count. So Wikipedia doesn't count. Give me better sources. I ain't no English teacher, okay? That's a lie. I ain't no English teacher, okay? You're, you're teaching Mark English. No, no, we're explaining how Mark is wrong and questioning how he graduated. Mark, I love you. Yeah, so there's a big difference. <laughs> Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kicks were fast as lightning. <laughs> And that was a little bit frightening. Do, 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 do. Expert timing. Do, 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 do. Bro, I did. I started singing karaoke at that song. I didn't realize how slightly racist, but also not, because I think it's. What? Written by? I have no clue. I don't, I don't know who it was made by. I don't you're know. So peasant shift yet, and you're sad. Don't Her worry. Brain. Tox, hold up one second, Kevin. Tox, give it a couple days. You're from Australia, and the product is coming from the States. Give it a little bit of time. It'll come in no time. Trust me. Because there have been some times where my product hasn't even gotten prepared in a good bit of time. So just don't give up hope. Give it a few days. Give it a day. Give it a day. Promise you, you'll be squashing in no time. Keep looking every time you have it just to see if you get a shiny or not. You got a date tonight. That's well, not, I just that's, not, that's not unfortunate. What, Kevin? I moved an inch and it has another egg. Hey, yo. Do you have surplus of eggs now? No, it's like a weird every once in a while like glitch of some sort where like you grab an egg and like you move like three times and another egg is in the thing already. It happens a lot to me. Fair enough. Unless it's just the Ovaltron thingy. Carl Douglas. Thingy. I have no clue how to pronounce the last name. Carl Doug Doug Douglas. You said it right. Yeah. Oh, same. Yeah. Same. No, what he was, but very catchy song. Dude, a lot of classic music is very catchy. Yo, Thunder Pals raid. Yo, welcome on in, raiders. How y'all doing tonight? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Can we have somebody grab the link, please? Yeah. Was it lemon, aka lime? I have no That's clue enough. how to pronounce your name, homie. Iceberg Mike, Thunder Pals, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope how you guys doing tonight? A main black? <laughs> A main. Okay. I, you gotta remember, Kevin. I cannot read. You're now breaking here on your English Nice, that's what's up. That's what's up. Are you beating? I can't read. Your range of music is 1950 to early 2000s. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Relax, how many colors are you guys doing and what color are you on? Oh, 
bro. Honestly, same space goes, but I go all the way back to... Oh, wait, no, yeah. I'm pretty much the same thing. I'm on the I same space. I thought you were going to say you listen to some Beethoven. When I say early 2000s, I mean, like... Fireflies. I mean, uh... Oh, you lost me. What? Someone just subscribed. Thank you! I didn't think of what they subscribed. Jay, thank oh. you so much for subscribing. Welcome on the Volcanic Village. We appreciate you. Party Rock's a good one. Okay. Early train music. Like payphone and stuff. Oh. Ten colors Beautiful. just got your red shiny claw clawcher. Five nice. Three. nice, that's what's up. Eight shiny. For those of you guys that are new into here, my name is Volcanic Arcanine. I typically try to stream every day. I do a whole variety of content, primarily Pokemon. I also like to play a little bit of Minecraft here and there. I also do have a second channel as well, Volcanic Plays. That's where all my video content goes. On top of that, I got the homie Many Face Impressions in the call with me, doing a Masuda Hunt. You could not hear him because I was still talking when he said hello, but he does voices. Hi, how are you? That's yeah. pretty much what I said. What were you guys doing tonight? Thunder Pals, what were you doing tonight? Let us know. What was the stream, my dude? Have a good one, Tox. Much love, homie. We appreciate you. Jay, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. What were you guys doing in the stream? Any of you guys there? Did I already hatch these eggs out and I'm just running with... Yep, yep, I am. Yo, Jake Wooden. Welcome in, welcome in. Any of you guys from the raid still here? Let me know what you guys were doing. Yes, no, maybe so. Pokemon Unite! You're doing Pokemon Unite! Okay. How many W's? Ranked? Standard? What were you guys up to? It was a stream. That's typically how streams should be. They should be a stream. Would you agree to that, Kevin? Nah. Because they can be premieres too. That, yeah. is, that is true. Got it. You can premiere the stream, that is true. How many W's though tonight? What do you guys, what was he typically made in? Love, love, dub, dub. Hey, yo, Michaela. Appreciate you. Kevin, Michaela loves you. Thank you, Michaela. Love you too. Snorlax is hatching the rest of his eggs left over. Then move into orange. Ooh. Orange is shelter. Good choice. Good choice. Oh, we hatched one at the same time again, Kevin. Oh, how the turns have tabled. One, two, three, shiny in for me. It would be so no cool to hatch. Dang it. Oh, well, no shiny. Shiny seal lion. 
would be pretty cool. Shiny it would be seal. Cool. Give it to me, do. Right now. Michaela's over six for her shiny Aaron. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I wish Aaron had a better shiny. I wish that entire line had a better shiny. What do you mean better? The only thing that changes is the eyes. The eyes turn red, the body turns a dark green. I don't know what you're on. Oh, about. it's not really that. The dark green isn't that noticeable. It is fairly noticeable once you put them side to side or just look at it. If you know what the original Pokemon looks like. Celebrate. <laughs> Tilted, oh my god. <laughs> I am confusion. No, I got a Twitter notification from Tilted. Mm, mm, enough said, have a good day. Man said, celebrate. <laughs> F England. <laughs> God damn it, Tilted. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, this Yeah, thank you everyone tuning in tonight. Appreciate you guys. Ding dong, no idea which is Swear that wasn't towards what I what you guys think it was, I promise. It just came up in my head. I am crossing the bridge. Is there a grumpy old troll that lives under there? Dude, I don't know. I'm really hoping I run into a shiny on my playthrough of uh, Scarlet and Violet. It'd be if not, cool. Shiny methods. I'm really hoping. I don't know. There's so much things I'm hoping for in that game, bro. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> I'm like a little child when it comes to those games. Remember, boys, England is my city. England is my city, and I know you can. Oh, wait, something like that. I don't remember. So, Kevin, what is. Suvo, so far you have seen one season of Rick and Morty. What do you feel about it so far? I love it. I never. <laughs> I never disliked it or anything. Okay. Anything? I just never had a chance. Okay. That's how it is with a lot of shows and anime shit. It's not that I dislike them. I just never had a chance to watch them because I don't That's own fair. anything. That's fair. For those of you Unless who you have not, the new episode of Rick and Morty is out for the new season, and it's really good. Unless you can send that link to me or whatever website that was. I don't know who Unless you're talking not. about, Kevin. Wink, wink. I have no clue what you're talking about, Kevin, but I understand. Don't worry, don't worry, YouTube. We're only talking about uh, the hub. What? Wink, wink. Okay, now I'm even more confused. No, because I told you to send me the website of, you know what, the thing we were using before. And we're totally talking about the hub. Wink, wink, wink. See, I'm saving you because you won't get attacked by... Kevin, that's even more weird. Stop. You are making know, your own case worse. That's Stop. That's the joke. I'm kidding, that's the joke. <laughs> Have a good, good night, one, Owen. We'll see you tomorrow, homie. Yeah, you'll see you'll see us tomorrow after I and then I'll be like, I beat Volcanic, I got the shiny before him. Haha. <laughs> and then I'll whip out like a, a master sword and I'll whack him. Even though I already got a shiny from this in 15 eggs. Yeah, throw. Yeah, Just like I'm it about is to throw great. Pain. Watch me get the shiny tonight. What I'm just talking about. I think you're lying. I think you're fibbing. Fibbing hard. I don't like fibbers. 
Oh, Wait what a minute. You? That sounded so wrong. <laughs> Real question is, how will the release of Splatoon 3 affect LeBron's legacy? What? Honestly, bro, I think it's going to affect it pretty, pretty damn well. <laughs> I am you just so confused. You just fucking reminded me. I've been just so sub Jay. Thank you so much for subbing earlier, homie. I, you might be a little bit behind in the stream. I think I don't know. On Twitter, there was a there was a meme. <laughs> it was, it was a, the background was heaven. <laughs> there was Kobe Bryant. <laughs> he was he was breaking the ankles of the queen. Oh my god! Oh my. She was on the ground, and he's right there holding the basketball. Bruh! That's <laughs> bad. <laughs> I'm working so on it, Owen. Yeah, that's right. I just turned so into yeah, a little bit. I think Kevin is a little bit on the whack side tonight, folks. My deepest apologies. When it's the zombie apocalypse and you realize it's not Walking Dead zombies, but in fact Left 4 Dead zombies, what I'm, do you do? I'm. Nope. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I'm offing myself. No way, no. Nope. Y'all can like, y'all can deal with that one yourself. I I that ain't me. That that ain't like, it, Chief. Wait, if I breed the Pokemon with the hidden ability, doesn't that give it the hidden ability? Yes. So I remember I have a pop wheel with the hidden ability I can breed. To get it. Liquid voice. What's liquid voice do? I think it increases. What was it again? Uh, all sound based become water type moves. It's honestly not that good. So hyper voice would become a water based move. Okay, well that would be good, but yeah. Um. That's actually not bad. There's a good number of sound-based moves that are pretty good, Gavin. Oh well, yeah, but a lot of them are also fairy-type moves. But it's normal. Oh. Is it all sound-based or normal sound-based? All sound-based moves. So Disarming Voice, for example, which is a fairy-type move, would be a water-type move instead. You could, you could get around that, though, still by using Moonblast. Oh yeah, obviously you're gonna get rid of it over time because disarming voice is like a early route thing or whatever. Yeah, but when there's gonna early. be there's gonna be other fairy moves that you'll get outside of disarming voice. Moonblast, like you said, there's um another good one. Fairy, not fairy wind. What is it? Oh my god, I don't remember. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, many face impressions. Who's it? He doesn't remember. Draining yeah. Kiss. Draining Kiss is another yeah. good one. That's a physical. Actually, no, that's special. It's... Never mind. Yeah. Forgot. Would that make Parish Song a water type move then? Yeah. Even though it doesn't matter, because it's not a physically touching move. It's more of one of those status-esque moves. That would also make Growl a water move. And Screech. Yo, are we getting oh, another yeah. raid? I think. 
think it's the one we're in. And I would assume it had something to do with Raphael, since he was already here before. <laughs> no, we are didn't J Man already raid us though? Yeah. Oh, then is that Unless early? Raphael or... is really late from that raid. Welcome back, Raphael. Bro, I want like chicken nuggets or something. Dude, that actually I wish... doesn't sound that bad right now. I wish DoorDash didn't cost like. Actually, it doesn't cost much, but it takes 80 minutes for food to get here, and I'm not waiting 80 minutes for. A 20 piece chicken nugget or anything. Screw 80 them. minutes to get. That is ridiculous. Welcome to my town where literally everything sucks. Like, if I was to get this job, I would have been able. I, if I lived closer to that job or whatever, it would only cost me like $8 to get there and then $8 back. Okay. Or what? From here to that job, from where I live right now to mm -hmm. that job, it would be. $35 there, $35 back. So that's six seventy something dollars every single day. Okay, that is ridiculous. Which would take up 90% of my paycheck. <laughs> that is pretty So wild. it would be useless to get that job at that point. That is pretty whack. Well, I'm trying to figure out a way around it. Talked to my dad this morning or that room. There just are trying to 679 out. Costco chains throughout the What the fuck? That's crazy. That's whack. How many Walmarts are there? <laughs> Alexa. How many Walmart chains are there around the globe? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, 11,766 in 2019. Did that answer your question? That was only in 2019. That's three years ago. That was only bound to increase by then. That's insane. That is. <laughs> I was not expecting to be that number. I was expecting like maybe 8,000. But to be th 3,000 more than that, that's actually... Dang, we had 100 eggs already. You had 100 eggs already? Lord only knows how many I've made it in. The US alone has 570... What the hell? Canada has 107. Jesus. At least 120 something is what you have. Well, considering you're only doing, you're gonna get in fives. So if you just count by fives in your, in your boxes, you'll know how many you're at. Whatever. One, two, three, four. I'm almost done with my fifth box. So I'm almost 150 eggs in. You didn't count in five. No, I counted by 30. How many boxes do you have left? Not many. Good eggs. Let me hatch this yeah, one out and I'll let you know. You went through that many boxes already? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, damn it, Bobby. I told you, this was a very, I'm just gonna relax stream tonight. No, I'm saying... The fact that all of our uh, debates left us not focusing on the game and now we're <laughs> almost done with our eggs or whatever. I still have two and a half boxes left. Which at the rate we're going, is it a lot? <laughs> no, it's not. It's only been what? An hour and a half at least? Two and a half hours. Counting the first stream. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> the second, the first one crashed. 
There are 10,593 Walmart chains throughout the globe in 2022. Oh, so some shut down. COVID. Mm. That would most likely be the reason. True. That doobie doobie dooba agent P. I did not think we would get through this many eggs this fast. That's Masuda for you. That beyond me. Dang, we went from like 15 people to four. Where the hell did everybody go? Where y'all at? Mm. A lot of people just went to sleep. I don't to blame fair, them. Yeah, I'm very busy. I'm tired this as well. Is... It's weird, cause like, it's like the first night in forever where I'm actually tired. I am tired as a bear. Dang it. Hey, yo, Twiggy Raid? This Twiggy man was live? I didn't even know Twiggy was live. <laughs> Dude, neither did I. Twiggy Raid. Yeah. Oh, come on in, Why? Raiders. How y'all doing? Whoever voted Gen 2, leg my balls. How y'all beautiful people doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. Raid hype. Raid hype. <laughs> I like that username. Nerdy Squirtle Gamer. That's pretty that, pretty good name. Croc, how you doing? Lord Impotent, how you doing? Squirtle Gamer, how you doing? Twiggy, how you doing? Traveler does stuff. I like that name. How you doing? Long live Professor Twiggy. That is debatable. I don't trust Twiggy as a professor. I think that's it. Oh, brilliant. Wait, I got a brilliant? Get away from me. Oh, you got a brilliant. I was like, how did I get a brilliant hatching eggs? I don't know if it's a brilliant one or not. Yeah, for those of y'all that are new here, my name is Volcanic Arc9. I shiny hunt right now. I also play Unite. Do Thank a whole you, lot Traveler. of content. Go subscribe to Kevin, Many Phase Impressions. His link is in the chat, or well, in the at, in the title. And also check out the second channel, Volcanic Plays. It's pretty lit. I do video content down there. Someone just drop, drop Twiggy's link, please. Or Twiggy, be shameless. I don't care which one. Twiggy now have a command. He should. Taught us about what babies and STDs. It's exclamation mark Twig? The at doesn't work. What? Nani? The fuck? Hold up. I can fix. I fix real good. I fix at. At fix real good. I do big brain. Super strong dude. Um. Oh. Well, let me... well that's a thing. That's a thing, Twiggy. That's pretty whack. 
But yeah, that's Twiggy's link. Y'all should definitely go check it out. Leah, okay. how you doing? Almost Hope you're good. having a fantastic day. Take that as goodbye. Good luck to you. Nerdy Squirrel Gaming, my apologies. You need to go because of homework. Have a great stream. Good luck. Also, I'm good. How about you? I'm going to stay until you answer. I am sorry, Nerdy Squirtle Gamer. I hope you have a fantastic evening, homie. Get some good rest. We will hopefully, we'll see you in the next stream, my dude. Much love to you. Hasta la bye-bye. Hasta la night-night. Take care, homie. Not really feeling really anxious. So just watching a few friendo stream. Good luck, Twiggy. What is Twiggy doing? Wait, is Twiggy still alive? Who's winning? None of us have a shiny yet. That'd be the answer to that question. I'm digging it nice and slow. Volcanic's already on, like, what was it? Like, I'm over 150. Boxes? I'm only at, like, one, one, actually, like, 110, 115. Nah, that's the other person doing homework. Sir Fetched is your favorite evolution, 100%. Dude, yo, that's a great evolution. Yo, I have that evolution. Nah, but Twiggy, what were you doing tonight? Hey, look, here. Dude, that's pretty great. That's a pretty great evolution. I didn't know it grew wings and a beak. And bird feet. We were doing a study stream. Are you failing, Twiggy? Do I have to beat your ass? I don't care if your chat knows. I will fly to where you live and beat your ass. And I'll do it with Kevin. What? We'll beat Twiggy's ass if he's failing. Ain't that right? Yeah. We see we weren't allowed. We weren't allowed to beat Mark. But you're different. Twiggy, he's younger than Mark. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> Enough said. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to beat Mark, but I will easily beat you if you fail. Oh wait, you're young. But. You want to join so you can eat popcorn? Honestly, it'd be pretty funny. Pull up, then. Twiggy. Step into some shoes the rest of the squad would not want to handle. Oh, wait. We could have Mark beat him. We'll have you Mark... Mess up the... <laughs> that. Kevin. I would just... Kevin. Huh? We'll have Mark beat him. It don't matter. I guess that works. We'll have Mark, the person who we wanted to beat for bad grades, beat Twiggy, the person who has typically good grades. I'm sorry, Mark. I love you, buddy. That'd be fun. That'd be funny to watch, though. That would actually be a funny thing to watch. Professor Twiggy, um... why am I getting a C in the F? Purply yo, purply yo, purply yo. Dang it. Ask and you shall not receive. That's a lie. As long as you save file and using printers isn't the assignment, he will be fine. That is true. But that that requires you to print out the answers already. Or you could just be smart and get the smart person to do it. And then be like, hey, what's the answers? Thanks. Bye. Don't know if you knew that they have a Mario Party Superstars ice cream at Cold Stone called Superstar Blast and it slaps. I did not know that. Now I want to try that. Kevin, your thoughts? Huh? There is an Thought ice cream what? flavor at Cold Stone.
called Superstar Superstar's Blast. It is a Mario Party ice cream. Do I just have the Pokemon already? I don't even have any Pokemon in my inventory. Damn, we gotta get good. Gotta get better at these, man. I just gave you some time to catch up. I wouldn't say shit. Here, me, yeah, me and I have I'm only. Give you an ass amount of homework to do. So much for resting. Dang, that's unfortunate. Gotta love not having to worry about that anymore. It's a good feeling. Kevin, thoughts on not having to do homework? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so. Dude, I absolutely despised homework. I thought it was, like, the dumbest thing teachers ever gave out. You have to take an assessment. Dang. That's unfortunate. Don't fail. Do good. No bad grades. One, two, seventeen. I don't know the lyrics of the stupid song. I don't know. Sing it. What? Oh my god. Frames, please. Your frames are just pooping on you. On my screen, yes. The low frames plus the latency. It's so bad. That is unfortunate. I keep running into the same, like, two people. Ooh, egg time. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the egg. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the egg. I wish it was. Aw. No shinies. Give me another one. Another one. I wouldn't mind if I actually got a shiny. Dang. That would have been really hype if I got a shiny right there. That's unfortunate. I'm sad now. Thank you everyone for 25 likes. Appreciate you guys. Oh, I turned around randomly. Don't know why. I like the little egg jingle. I do too. Two, three, four, five. Dang, you Yay. get eggs so fast. I know, right? Look, it would be a lot faster if I wasn't dealing with latency and frame dropping. Tilted, god fucking damn it. But screw me over. Kevin, look at chat. I'm an indie show you right here. <laughs> Tilted, did you like my meme on my, uh, on my YouTube shorts? Did you like it? Was it another common Kevin W? <laughs> As you would like to say. Dude, this bird does not like me. Yeah, she left her tone of when dying at home on accident. Dude, that's pretty funny. What a shame. She forgot to put it in her off hand. You're about to cry because the Aaron isn't hatching out the shiny. Don't, you'll get it soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. I you'll get this, it soon. I want this purple pup already. I want this bird. I want this bird Ooh. really bad. You know you felt that way. Mm. What? 
poisson. Yo, are we getting raided by the homie Landon? What's good, dog? Inferno, man. Like, dude. Yo. It's a raid. I I butchered that one horribly. Uh. I'm sad. How you beautiful people doing tonight? How you beautiful people doing tonight? Right here. Raid look shiny. Right here, I'm calling it. Dude, honestly, though, for real, for real? Well, come on in, though, Raiders. Dick. What were y'all doing tonight? Oh. Landon, Timmy B, yo, how you doing, Timmy? Oh, Dark Alchemist, how you doing? Blazy, how you doing? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic today. For those of you guys just tuning in here, I'm doing my first ever Masuda hunt. This ain't well, my first. Okay, I'm saying my first because this is the first, like, actual first hunt. I was getting yeah. eggs ready for, like, today's stream last oh. night. And I hatched them on out already, and I'm like, oh, well, it's shiny. Fuck. It was yeah, volcanic trash. lost his, uh, his Masuda V card, so. I did 15 eggs, and I got shiny throw. You know, once you do it once, you want to do it more, so. Yeah, it was fun. This is fun. It's just a really chill stream where I just get to have a good time, hang out, chat, see how you guys are doing. Thank you, Omar, for grabbing the link. Hope stream is going well. See you guys saving the best Gen 7 starter for last. I mean, I do that genuinely like um, Incineroar a lot more than I like Rowlet. I just like Rowlet Shiny. I like Green Owl. I, I, I can't hate. I'm sorry. But I do have yeah, to say, is. though, I, I like Poplio the best. I would have done Poplio if I had a Poplio. I did not have Litnin. Or... Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> Litten? Well, Litten? Okay, okay. I, I I pronounced it horribly wrong. Gotta love dyslexia. No, um, I didn't have that, and I didn't have a Poplio. I only had a Rowlet, so I'm like, well, I might as well just do Rowlet. Why not? That's how the cards work. Oh, my God. <laughs> Justin Castro, how you doing? BRB, you going to get some food? All good? For those of you guys... For those of you guys that are new in here, haven't been in here for a while, your boy has a second channel now. Pretty big, pretty big wall, big wall. I do video content over on it. You guys should go check it out. I do then we battles over on it. It's really freaking cool. Go go give it a peep if you guys are interested. Exclamation point plays in the chat. Had a new video go up the other day with me and the homie Lua. It was pretty nice. Yeah, also, we have Kevin. Kevin, anything you'd like to say to the people? No one could hear you? Someone just hey. subscribed. Dark Alchemist, much love. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome on Volcanic Village. We appreciate you. Oh, man, I went in the wrong door. All right, so, Kevin, any, any words of wisdom? Beep. Beep, I'm a sheep. I said, beep, beep, I'm a sheep. Wow. Uh, that's pretty insightful right there. That's the many face impressions. Meow, meow, I'm a cow. I said, meow, meow, I'm a cow. I love that one. That one was funny. Hey, dudes, want to go skateboards? You want to do skateboards? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That's my boy. No, my boy. Father, help! That I love. Lewis. I love um ASDF movie. I miss ASDF movie. ASDF movie was genuinely good. It was genuinely good.
Out your nose. Look out, he's got a nose. Look out, he's got a nose. This is your circle. What? <laughs> what is that comment? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is that chat? What? <laughs> what? I am so confused on so many levels. Oh, tilt it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I on. just realized. We chose the worst day to play an England based Pokemon game. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> if mine's a female, I'm totally naming it Elizabeth. I am totally doing it. Wouldn't Nothing it be funnier if I did it? What? Wouldn't it be funnier if I did it if it was female? Oh my! Mine has like the blonde hair and looks, you know, feminine. But mine would be a Yours ghost type. Like... I, mean, I guess it works too. It has to be female though. That's won't work. That's what I'm saying. Unless if you male one, you can name it um. The hell is, what was the dude's name? I, I don't know. Husband, I forgot his name. Oh, dude, I have no clue. Tilted, you might know. What was it? Robin Hoot. I mean, I typically <laughs> give a good, a decent name. I always go all out with my nicknames. Like, my Legends Arceus Pokemon, they're all like scientific names of the animals they're based off of or oh i name like, i just name them whatever i want to name them like for instance i named my shiny throw muscle man like my uh my hisuian what was it hisuian gudra i named it after the latin um the latin dragon snail Thing that it's based off of. I forgot the name of it though. Top my head. Stop shitting the bed frames. Come on. Dude, your frames do not like you. It looks totally fine in the recording, too, which is funny to me. It's just when I'm playing it itself. Yeah. On my... It's so bad. I hate it. How's everyone doing though tonight? Let us know. A lot of people voted for. We got 38 votes in this poll right now, and the majority vote says Gen 1 at a whopping 45%. Say Gen 1 is the most overrated generation of Pokemon. Kevin, how does that make you feel? Eh. Enough said. Have a good day. Thank you everyone for 30 likes. You guys are awesome. We appreciate you guys. But then again, I can kind of see where they're coming from. Because a lot of the Gen 1 mascots are just overused. Like Charizard, Pikachu, obviously. Eevee, obviously. The Kanto starters as a whole. The starter trio, Meowth, Jigglypuff. That's true. That's fair. You, Mewtwo. Dog tilted, you wish. That's your wildest dreams right there, homie. And Kanto Pokemon have the most regional forms. 
so I can I can understand why. Hey, get out of my way, old man. Kanto Pokemon what? also have the most evolutions in other games than other Pokemon. Because Chansey, Golbat, a lot more that I can name off. Magmar, Magmort, or Magmar, Electabuzz, or Electabuzz, Pangla, Magna, or Magneton. Yeah, Magneton. Porygon. Yeah. Scyther. Porygon had two in two different games. Yeah, Scyther. Also had two. Yeah. In on funny enough, in two different games. Mm-hmm. You hate Gen 6 because you hate France. Dang. Why are you not liking Le France? You like Gen 4 and 2 the most, honestly. I can respect liking Gen 2. Snail sandwiches. <laughs> kind of gross. I've never heard of an start... escargot sandwich. You've never heard of that? It's very as gross. As a sandwich? Yeah. I've never heard of it as a sandwich. It's a thing. Sorry, you've been lurking with no audio. To get some stuff done, but hope y'all are great. Dude, it's all good, homie. We appreciate you, Timmy. We appreciate you. I understand that completely, my dude. There have been many times I just pop into someone's stream while I'm mid-edit and don't even say, like, I'll say one message. It's like, I'm here watching no audio and just zone out. I get you, homie. Don't even trip. I hear you. <laughs> In case he unmuted for a second just to be like, did you get that? It's all good. You love Paris, it's a very nice city. What? And they got baguettes and funny mustaches and mimes, so they win. I'm so con tilted, that made no sense. Then again, this is coming from you, tilted, so that makes sense why it makes no sense. What constitutes sense in that instance of you? Questions for later. Did you just say Pringles? Hmm. What? Bro, don't make me hungry. Well, I could have sworn I thought I heard you say Pringles. Make me hungry. You hope you get a Trico soon, dude. I hope I get this soon. I'd love to get a Shiny today. That'd be amazing. You're being sarcastic? Oh, I know. I'm completely aware that you're being sarcastic, Tilted. 100% completely aware. You love Pringles because they don't sell you air. That is true. Ah. You know exactly Pringles. what you're getting when you buy Pringles. One person finally voted Gen 5. Gen 5 finally got a vote in the poll, Kevin. Yeah, Gen 5 gets a lot of love, but it gets a lot of hate, mainly because of the designs are lazy. Okay, I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. Tauros with an afro. Love disc with wings. Huh? Love disc with wings, Tauros with an afro. Or else is a bull, one's a buffalo. It's a buffalo because it's in New York, and New York is one of the states in the U.S., which is a buffalo-ridden area. I know. So it makes... I am completely aware. It's more just the fact of... It's Taurus. Although... With an afro. That's like saying no cow Pokemon can exist, because it'll just be a ripoff of Miltang. Also, if we're going off with the logic of the fact that it looks like the same species of animal, then Lily Pup or uh, Stoutland is just a normal type Arcanine. 
But it's a different breed of dog. Huh? Different breed. Just like a bull and a bison are entirely different. <laughs> I don't disagree like with you, but it, it just looks so close. So similar. They could have done like a few things to make it different. Oh! What? They have entirely different snouts. They have entirely different body structures. Entirely different hair. Entirely ah, different... this is fun. One has got a nub. Kevin, How is this that is the same? Kevin, Kevin, you don't realize what I just did, but I'm really glad that you just let it happen, so thank you. I love you, buddy. Oh, that was cool. Telling me there's more than one type of dog? Yeah, it, it, dog is not the type of dog in the world. There's dog dog and dog the dog dog, and then there's dog the bounty hunter. You know, that's, that's a whole different breed of dog right there. Kevin, you know who dog the bounty hunter is? <laughs> Real <laughs> His reaction is perfect. <laughs> Kevin, are you good? What are you doing? Why are you fucking with the Dunsparce? You're actually... <laughs> Mans is this heated. Mm. They look identical. Oh, I can't tell them apart. I can't. Kevin, it's, com yeah, it's completely a joke. Yeah, I agree with that logic. No, they, they look the same. You know, Love this with wings. With the... Love That's the only wings. one I can. But even though one's a discus fish and the other one is a mola mola, whatever the hell it's called, or a sunfish, for short. Yo, tilted. That means she for the streets, yo. Justin Castro's out here just like, bruh. Huh? No, Justin Castro's just like, bruh, SMH. <laughs> bruh. Press tilted in chat. Justin has an internal feud with Tilted. Just for existing. <laughs> tilted, Werewolf, and all of them. He has an internal feud with them. Even if they just say hi. Even when he said even when they just say hi, Justin would be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> have you seen Did one I of the homeless the guys? I have not seen the one homeless guy. I have no clue. I have no clue who you're talking about, Tilted. You know, I've lived in New York my entire life, and I've only seen four quote-unquote homeless people, and I'm not 100% sure if they even were homeless or not. Oh, I've seen a lot of homeless people in my area. But my area, in my area specifically, I've not seen a single homeless person. I've seen. I've seen a good handful. Have a good one, Timmy B. Much love, homie. We appreciate you, my dude. Um. Boxes. I am on my second to last set of box. Oh, 
Hey you. Kevin, you know the rules about oh. singing on Discord call for shame. No, I, want, I want to see my ventriloquism. It's getting better. Because like, I can just sit here like nobody knows if I'm actually talking or not. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You can tell a little bit if you know what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. That is what they all say. <laughs> that's what they all say, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, what okay. Time? What? No, you can... You If you know what you're looking for, there's a few key details to tell if... To tell that someone's... Oh, oh shit, Sherlock. However, you're My getting... Normal you're getting better at doing it. You're getting the better at puppets. doing it. Huh? You're getting better at doing it. So mostly people will be paying attention to the puppets more than my mouth stuff. As long as they don't see my that mouth moving, they won't. sounds major sauce, not gonna lie. Bro. Yo, tilted out here taking shots. Man said, not gonna lie, Kevin looks like a homeless oh quibble God. cop. <laughs> I know who that is. Too. Oh, I know who it. Everyone knows who it is. Fucker. I'm. <laughs> I can't even be mad at that. That's good. I mean, that was pretty funny. Another egg is hatching. Kevin, you want to call it on this one? Because I am feeling pretty freaking burnt out right now. I'm tired. Uh, let me see what number I'm at uh, after these ones. Five, 100, 15, 20, 20, 30. So I'm going to be at 135 after this one, after this batch. So I guess that's good. Thirty-five ain't bad. In that case, will I get it? I'm not sure. I'm hoping I get this. That was my last egg. I did not get it. I have three more eggs after... Actually, two more after this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm 185 eggs in. No shiny. All right, well, while we're waiting for that to happen, we're going to get the raid started. Where's the... All right, let's get the raid started. Or the hashtag in the chat. We're just waiting on Kevin to finish up the last couple of eggs. Here it is. Final egg. No shiny. That's unfortunate, Kevin. Nick and Kevin raid. Yes, because people are totally going to know and Kevin, unless we're raiding someone that does know me. Ow. I guess I'll check for raid targets. I don't know if you have anybody. You do that, Kevin. <laughs> we could raid Asteroid and Vinny. 
Imagine. Nah, we'd be hi we would be hidden in the chat. Be sad. Love those man. Them's the boys. Actually, hold up. I know who we're raiding. I know exactly who we're raiding. Mm. We just have to wait a few seconds. Don't worry. I, I have the raid target. Mm. I will send you the link, Kevin. I ain't gonna be able to look at it. Oh, well, okay. Or at least my camera's gonna freeze if I do, maybe. I didn't send it yet. No. I don't think it did. You just turned sideways. Kevin Justin needs to show you something. That's who we're rating, Kevin. Hmm? I sent you who we're raiding. Oh, yeah, everyone alrighty. stick around for a little bit. As we get ready for the raid. Thank you everyone for 31 likes tonight. Thank you, everyone, to all you guys that subscribed tonight, everyone who came in the stream, hung out, and had a good time. I appreciate all you homies. Thank you, Kevin, for joining me. We'll have to continue this again. Indeed. Indubitably. At some point. Indubitably. Yeah. Everyone, I'm so excited about Splatoon 3 when it's just the same game but retextured. <laughs> I kid, I kid. It's like Call of Duty, it very changed, but it's still good. Well, from a certain point of view. Alright, we will be raiding in a few seconds, everybody. I'm just getting everything finished up. Yeah, wow, we, look at that. Guys, look at my shiny collection in this game. Pretty crazy. And my shiny Pretty collection, too. Let me let me show off the boy. The As you can see here, man. I'm the first people in the world to get a double shiny in this game. That's the Two man. In a row. That's the man that we got shiny. I was so excited. 1201 Yeah, no, this was this was the shiny that I was going to Masuda hunt today. I was so excited to do it too because I've really wanted one for a very long time. Now I have one. So I was like, yeah, I can do this. Yay! Game said, nope. Alright, y'all. We are going in to the raid, everybody. Here is the link i will be sending that in a few seconds now that live redirect is actually working today thankfully here is the link when you guys get over there make sure you drop a like and if you're new there definitely consider subscribing it would mean a lot to you boys 
Have a good day, everyone. Thank you, everyone who came in through the or to all the raids again. Thank you, everyone who tuned in today. Have a fantastic evening. Kevin's link is the at in the in title.